Friends of Model Trains, welcome to another video in our Digital for Beginners series. In today's video, or rather the next videos, I would like to show you our Z21 control app and all the things you can do with it. You can find the Z21 app in the Google Play Store or in the App Store. For this purpose, simply enter Z21 in the search box. Then, depending on your device, you will see two or four apps. This Z21 app, where it says Z21, is the current version. If possible, please download the app. The old version is still available in the store, but this hasn't been further developed since 2018, nor has it been updated. Therefore, if possible, please download the current version of the app. After downloading the app, find the app on your device. When you open it, it looks like this. We have different tabs here, different windows, and in the center, the play button to start operation. But before we start with the operation, I would like to start with the settings and show you the most important ones for the app. So let's start with the settings tab. As you can see, we have a dark background with light text. For many, this is a modern look for a layout, but it isn't ideal for reading or looking at. For this reason, the first item is the color scheme. You can adapt it under Color Scheme. There's an item there called Light Orange. This doesn't mean that the orange will become lighter, but rather that the background is white and the text is black, making the whole thing a lot easier to read. If you want to optimize the view even more, you can adapt the text size and change it from Normal to Large. You can see directly that everything is larger, and when we go into Settings, the font is also easier to read for elderly people. It is also possible to set the language within the app, although usually the correct language is already preset on the device, which is why we can basically ignore this item. A further item is the control type. This concerns the controller in the app and its behavior when you go to normal. Now go into the control menu and tap here. The controller immediately starts hopping on the area which I touch with my finger. This isn't always what we want, which is why we have the item differential, If you now go into control again, you can tap at the top here too, and the bar will follow your finger. It won't jump straight to the position, giving you a finer sense of control. This means that you can not only control down here, but you really have the entire area for control, and the locomotives can also be controlled much more sensitively. I therefore recommend settings, control type, Differential. The sensitivity of the controller can also be adjusted, whether it should react more quickly or more slowly. For fine control, the low control sensitivity is ideal. If you scroll further, you can adapt the position of the speed controller. What is meant by this? Should the control bar be on the left-hand side or the right-hand side? It's certainly rather practical on the tablet at least. If you're using the app on your mobile, you can adapt the position of the controller for left-hand or right-hand control. As a right-handed person, it is of course practical if the controller is on the right-hand side, as then you don't have to reach across the display. As a left-handed person, you can adapt it like I have here on the tablet for left-handed use. So now we're back in settings. Using Invert Driving Direction, you can completely change the driving direction of the vehicles and swap forwards with reverse and vice versa. I'm of the opinion that only a few people really need this function. Those who really want to change the direction can do it here. Mark Route Green when active. We'll come to that when we reach the item Signal Box. In Signal Box, it's possible to collect several turnouts to form a route. If the route is activated, it will in this case be marked green, which is highly useful. What does warning when switching turnouts mean? If you switch a turnout, the tablet or the smartphone makes a short click noise. You can activate that if you want to. Here at the bottom, you also have the possibility to have tips shown to you on opening the program. For example, you can receive the tip, caution, you have made several changes, would you like to save these if you have changed something in signal box? It's pretty sensible to save your work at regular intervals rather than lose your settings. In the programming, you can stipulate whether a locomotive you have created in the app should also be directly reprogrammed in the vehicle decoder, such as, for example, the locomotive address. You can do it like this, or you can do it separately. Here, you can stipulate what should happen when you press the stop button at the top. 
Should only the locomotive stop, or should the current on the system be directly de-energized too? This is pretty important for mobile telephones. If the telephone rings while you're using the app, should the system be de-energized so that all vehicles stop? When you exit the app, what should happen? Should the system be de-energized too? And at the bottom here you can stipulate whether you want to swipe back and forth between the locomotives. I'll show you that when we get to the locomotives. Another really important thing, allow import-export via WLAN. If, for example, you have set up your system on the tablet, like all vehicles and turnouts, and now you want to export everything on your smartphone. You can, for example, send from one device to another via email, a messaging service, or if you've checked the box, directly via WLAN. This makes everything very easy. If you want to protect your data in the app, you can also block the app using a password. The next item is the Z21 setting. I can't show you that right now because I'm not yet connected with my Z21. What do you have to do? You have to connect your Z21 with the WLAN network. To do this, go into WLAN under Settings, and then search for your Z21 WLAN network. In my case, it's Z21 underscore 0707, and then enter the password for your router into your mobile device. Now you are connected to your WLAN network. You will see the information, no internet connection. This is correct because your WLAN router, your Z21 router, is not connected to the internet. Switch back into the Z21 app. Now you can see whether the bar here at the top has turned blue. Blue means that you are connected with the control center and you can also see what you will be shown. You can see that your control center is connected as well as the serial number of your control center and a few other things that you can set. For one thing, it shows you the current power consumption on the track. You can also activate here whether you want Railcom switched on or off. We are going to leave it switched on because when Railcom is switched on, you can, for example, program Railcom capable decoders directly on the track, but we'll get to that when we're in program settings. Here you can also set the button on the control center separately as I mentioned previously, whether the track voltage should be switched off or if only the vehicles should be stopped. Normally leave the read mode set to both. You can read in bits or bytes. Maybe I've run ahead of myself a bit here, but you can't do anything wrong with the standard settings. With the Z21 program settings here too, you should only change things if you know what you are doing and if you are really experiencing problems with the individual decoders. Another item is Report Errors. Here you can report errors if something isn't working in the app, but you are also welcome to send us optimization suggestions via Send Z21 Error Report. If you feel you lack a function in the app or if something isn't working as well as you would like, simply send a Z21 Error Report. This will land directly at our digital development department, and the more feedback we get on a particular subject, the more likely we are to implement suggestions. You can be linked to the Z21 Updater app, which you can install separately via the item Z21 Updater app, whereby you can update the control center firmware. We've already talked about the maintenance tool in one of our last videos. Alternatively, the whole thing can also be done via the app. Then there's an item called Z21 Link, Using it, you can utilize a connected Z21 Pro Link. We'll get to that later once I've introduced you to the Z21 Pro Link. And that's all on the subject of settings. So let's start with the rail vehicles. What can I do with those? The second item I want to introduce you to is systems. As you can see, you can also save several systems on your device, depending on whether you have a club or a system belonging to a friend or acquaintance. If you are in systems, you will see how many vehicles are in there, what you have created, and if you scroll right up, here at the bottom is the item Export. Now we're where I was talking about earlier, because when you click on Export, you will see the item WLAN. If both devices are connected with the same WLAN network, i.e. the device from which you want to transmit and the device with which you want to receive, you can transmit that directly via WLAN, the system, and send it to another device. Alternatively, you can also do this via the function share. Then you can transmit the data, for example, via email or via a messaging service, and thus also transmit the file to another device. Or, for example, you can send it via email to your home computer in order to make a backup copy. One more item in this video, driver's cabs. 
You will only find this item if you're using a tablet with a 7-inch diagonal screen. Only then will you see the item driver's cabs. What does this mean? We have recreated the original driver's cab for some vehicles. You can download these and assign a locomotive to them. Then you can drive a model like a real train driver in the original driver's cab. I'll show you that when we get to the locomotives. So that was all on the subject of settings in this video. In the next video, we will be talking about the rail vehicles. How can I control a locomotive or how can I switch my turnouts via the app?